today at the state capitol after back-to-back -back marathon meetings. Democrat assembly members emerged from their private conference room late last night to announce that Sheldon Silver will be stepping down as their leader, effective next Monday. News Channel 13's Dan Levy has been following all of the developments of the Silver scandal. He joined us now live from the capitol with the very latest. Good afternoon, Dan. Good afternoon to you, Kelly. Within the last 15 minutes, assembly staff members wheeled in a cart that was stacked high with assembly bills. That's a sure sign that there is progress here. They then distir distributed uh, those assembly bills to the members' desks. And of course, these are the bills that the assembly members will be debating and acting on in the coming weeks and the coming months. And again, a sure sign that there is progress here at the Capitol. Of course, the latest development is that there are budget hearings underway right now here. Uh, before we could arrive at this point, though, assembly Democrats needed to clear that highly publicized Sheldon Silver hurdle. Late last night, as you mentioned, Democrats emerged from their conference room to announce that the embattled speaker will be stepping aside and Majority Leader Joseph Morelli will be taking over the speaker's role on an interim basis and Sheldon Silver, we're told, will not impede that process. Now, here's a sample of the reaction following last night's meeting. Um, we're uh, confident that we can go forward, get back to work uh, and uh, in terms of the budget and uh, continue to lead the people in the state and do the jobs we were elected to do. As much as the general public might think that this has been a huge distraction and has brought government to a screeching halt, that's not true. Has it been um, an unsettling time, um, a, a very troubling time? It's not too often that the Speaker of the Assembly leaves office. I'm very sobered. It's a, it's a very sad time. We are uh, moving into very unchartered territory. There's no road maps here. It's been a very emotional day uh, for me the last two days because um, I have a very high regard uh, for Speaker Silver and for the way he's led this uh, body for 20 years. And to those of you who think that that last speaker, that last gentleman's name sounds familiar, that's because David Weprin is indeed the son of Saul Weprin, the former assembly speaker who died in office back in 1994, and that allowed Sheldon Silver to take over the reins of the uh, speaker's position. Now, when the assembly reconvenes inside the chamber here on Monday, they will do so under the leadership of interim speaker Joseph Morelli, and then they have scheduled an election for February 10th, at which time they will select a new Speaker of the Assembly. Now, who's in the running? Who are the contenders? More on that part of the story coming up tonight at 5 and 6 o'clock. Live at the State Capitol, Dan Levy, News Channel 13. Kelly. All right, thank you, Dan. And